Yeah. Okay, Coach? Yep. Frank, you've had some success Recording with, in with progress. switching at various points of the season. Just wonder what the discussion was at halftime, what you saw, and then how that changed the game in the third quarter. Yeah, well, we didn't know, uh, you know, coming into the game, you know, what lineups they were going to put out there with Carter coming back. Um, you know, so, you know, we don't want to be flipping back and forth throughout the day. You know, start start the same way we were going to start. Uh, but ideally, if they're going to have Bomba as a lone big out there, you know, that was a lineup that we were going to switch everything and try to take away the three from him. And, um, you know, we got a little crossed up with got, trying to get that match up in the first half, uh, made the adjustment at halftime by starting Stanley. And, um, you know, the switching was really good. You know, I thought it stalled out a lot of their action. Uh, I also want to credit Avery Bradley for his uh, defensive tenacity, especially in the third. Um, I, f- I felt like really energized our group and uh, it was a big part of that that early third quarter run. Ben, Frank, just your overall thoughts on Russ uh, coming off, you know, the end of last game and everything and what you thought he gave you tonight. Yeah, Russ, Russ played a really good basketball game. You know, he came in uh, very focused and, uh, you know, played efficient offensively and, you know, brought brought a pure energy to the game. You know, he just, uh, you know, wanted to, uh, you know, impose his will, um, play his part and um, play the hell of a game. Frank, the the move to Stanley, um, it seemed like it only it, on offense too, it kind of opened the floor for you guys. You've had success with that and, and kind of leaned sort of back, back and forth. Have you, do you have a sense for, I guess, kind of what you guys want to do or be moving forwards until AD gets back or is it still maintained versatility and, and options, I guess? Well, it, it depends on who we're going against, you know, and, and we want to build it, uh, you know, a rotation of flexibility, you know, where, you know, we're playing against five three-point shooters. We can put a switch everything lineup out there uh, that plays with the space that we've been benefiting of over the last three, three, four weeks. And, um, you know, but we also ha- want to be able to, you know, play with with Dwight and DJ, you know, as a center in there uh, when we're playing against bigger guys. And, uh, you know, tonight we're able to do both. You know, I think uh, not not just the, the adjustment of, of Stanley playing, uh, you know, the defensive, playing the five, uh, so to speak, um, to start the third quarter, but Dwight coming in against Carter because Carter hurt us in the first half. You know, he was a plus 17 in his minutes. So just making that adjustment gave us, you know, the the ability to mix pitches throughout the game. Frank, um, obviously, you know, after how last game ended and Russ ended on the bench, um, you know, it probably could have gone another way than it did tonight. What, what do you think that says about Russ that he, you know, found that focus and found that confidence to, to play the type of game he did tonight. Well, oh, Russ is a high character guy, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we knew we were going to respond. We communicated afterwards, you know, to, to, to make sure that we understood, you know, what was going on. We're just coaching to win the game and, um, you know, to turn the page onto Orlando. And he did a great job maintaining that focus. And we're all committed to, uh, you know, to this group, you know, getting the job done. You know, we still believe in what we can be. It's been bumpy uh, throughout the, the course of the year, um, but we're committed. Frank, having the lineup flexibility that you do with LeBron, how, how much of a weapon is that to be able to, you know, totally change up your lineup in the second half? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's the most unique player in the history of the game. You know, we won a championship with him playing point guard two years ago. He's been a ball handling wing throughout his career, and he's been playing center for us. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, and for him to be doing it at, you know, at this stage of his career is even more remarkable. Um you know, can just just continues to get the job done, and uh, I think he's had 25 or more in, in every game since uh, since Anthony's been out, and uh, you know it's been a big part of every single win. You know, during that stretch. Right now, to the, the labor, I just wanted to stick with the line of questioning that Kyle asked. The communication you had with Russ was that immediately after the game. Yeah, I'm not going to get into when or, or what was said. You know, but um, you know, it was a, just just along the lines of let's get ready for Orlando. I guess in a general sense, in regards to what you say to your team, um, you've told us at times that you have coached them very hard. Um, was that a was that a coach them hard halftime, or was there calm in the room in terms of the adjustments that need to be made? Yeah, I would say it was uh, calm in the room. You know, um, talk about what we need to, what adjustments we need to make. You know, where we need to be better. Um, but it wasn't an uh, you know a halftime where I snapped or anything like that. Uh, coach, fifth, about 15 months ago, you won a championship right here in Orlando. Um, obviously now, fast forward a little bit, how much have you grown just as a coach in those 15 months? Yeah, I mean, I, I grow every game, every season, you know, as a coach. Uh, you know, every group is presents different challenges, different opportunities, and, 
Um, you know, I definitely feel like I've grown some during that stretch. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.